Welcome gamers, Stone Monk here for the Mortal Realms crew, and I'm giving you a pretty big update on the Renown or Ruin campaign uh, rule set that I'll be uh, releasing for Age of Sigmar Skirmish. Now, I want to do a couple of things. I want to tell you kind of when it's going to be releasing, what I've got left to do, um, but I also want to walk you through the first section of the, the book so that you have an idea um, not just an idea of, of what it is, but so you can get ready uh, with your gaming group, start planning, or start kind of getting your gaming group excited about running a campaign so that when this releases, um, maybe you're ready to get started as soon as it's out. Um, and so I'm going to give you some some kind of prep. I'm going to give you some uh, uh, kind of step-by-step -step on getting ready for a campaign that I have put into the, the pack. But this way, you're going to get be able to get started a lot sooner um, because I want your feedback, because I want you guys to have fun. I want you to play through it. I want you to, to, to get something out of this that maybe you're not getting out of skirmish or other um, uh, miniature gaming at the moment. And I want you to, to let me know um, what, you, what, what you're interested in um, changing and improving or, or what you like at the core of this, et cetera. So I want this to be interactive. Um, I've had a lot of fun exploring this with my gaming group, and now I want to explore it with all of you. So first up, um, I'm about uh, right now most of the rules and the content is complete. Uh, it's in final editing, and there's probably going to be a last-minute thing that I add that's going to have typos in it, but we're all going to deal with it. Um, I'm working on uh, uh, visuals, the drawings, the art for the pack, um, and most of it uh, is complete. This cover is is about 80% done. I don't want to show that to you right now, but you can see some some uh, sketches and, and uh, such on here um, to get an idea that um, I have a very... Uh, cartoony style, or not super cartoony, but a bit of a more cartoony style to my drawing than Age of Sigmar. And so, um, uh, just give you a sense though that I want I want this to look different. I want it to stand out uh, next to the Age of Sigmar stuff. Not necessarily feel like it's uh, an official um, uh, part of the of of the what releases that you know. I don't want it to look like an official um, Age of Sigmar book. Um, so. Uh, and I'm expecting that maybe in two weeks, I'm gonna have this ready to release. Now I know two weeks isn't that long. Um, I've got a lot done. And sometimes you just gotta put a deadline and you gotta bite the bullet and you gotta get it out there. All right, so about two weeks. That puts us maybe the end of the first week of, of February. You'll have it out before Valentine's Day, which is I know exactly <laughs> what you wanna hear. All right, so up to speed. What if uh, you don't know anything about Renown or Ruin? This is the first time you're hearing about this. I do have a couple other videos about it. We do have a couple of updates story-wise where um, myself and uh, my game group talk about the story and what, what's happened with our, our players and their war bands. So that'll give you a little bit of an idea of it. But let me tell you what, um, uh, what Renown and Ruin is. Um, and I'll walk you through um, the first page of the pack. So let's get that up here in just one second. All right, like I said, this is the first page of the Renown and Ruin pack. And so I'm going to walk you through this. So uh, you read here, a Renown and Ruin campaign is a multiplayer co-oppetitive, and that's my fun word for cooperative and competitive uh, role-playing game, where warbands compete to grow their renown by gathering relics and completing battle plan objectives. Warbands face narratively driven battle plans and role play setup by a realm master or game master. So uh, if you're not familiar, a realm master in this setting is a renown or, sorry, is like a Dungeons and Dragons uh, dungeon master or a game master in other games. Um, Sam James uh, coined this term in his Hinterlands uh, rule set. And uh, because that's not available anymore, that's where Renown or Ruin has kind of come out. Uh, and I'm trying to carry on uh, this uh, kind of idea that he set up. So uh, according to Sam, the, the Realm Master is like a movie director. So you're kind of setting the stages, creating the obstacles and opportunities uh, for, the Realm, uh, for, for your players, for the party. Um, and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to create in this space. If you've never done this before, then uh, this can be a fun way to kind of get some of it. You're designing, you know, ch choosing the battle plans, choosing the setups, that sort of thing. So if you like designing battle plans, this can be a really good um, 
uh, position for you. Um, a Renown or Ruin campaign is doesn't have to be in any particular setting. Um, I'm putting this in the realm of uh, Shyish or specifically in Shadespire um, because that's where we're really enjoying that setting right now. Um, but it can really be in Old Mornheim or it could be in any kind of sitting where a setting where cutthroats, mercenaries, and adventurers have traveled to gather uh, treasure and glory. Um, and treasure is what we call relics and glory is what we call renown. So in this, in this campaign, uh, we're centered around renown. The skirmish uh, rule set that Games Workshop came out with last year in 2017 um, is very heavy. Renown is your point system. It's how you spend, it's what you spend to build your warband. I don't want you to have any concept of spending renown um, because I feel that breaks uh, the idea of, of what renown is. So in um, Renown and Ruin, um, renown is your reputation. And I want it to feel and act like a reputation that when your reputation grows, it reaches further and it influences how um, opposing forces or allies react to you, right? Um, when your renown uh, spreads, you may, uh, it may cause another force to feel, um, you know, jealous or it could make them feel like you're encroaching in their space or dominance in a region. So they may um, become aggressive towards you. Um, and, or, you know, if your um, renown uh, is grown, it stretches further, that may make it easier for you when you're closer to where your kind of center of renown is. And I'll talk about that in another video where your kind of center of influence is. It could also improve kind of different uh, results that come up when you're rolling dice, searching for relics or that sort of thing. Maybe you just know a little bit more about the region, etc. cetera. Um, uh, but also, un, um, unlike uh, renown is really your growth, uh, individual models do not gain experience. So this, I'm not getting granular the same way Mordheim do, did um, or some other rule sets are. That's not my approach. Um, as your warband grows, obviously, um, people are new followers are going to be attracted to you. You don't spend your renown to buy new uh, followers. They're attracted to you. Um, and so the number of followers you can uh, have is dependent on how much renown you have because you you can only lead so many people based on your reputation, your actions in battle, and what you've accomplished. So the more you achieve, the more people will follow you. But you can also lose renown. Um, you can lose renown by failing at battle plans and quests and losing relics um, if they're stolen or uh, other things befall you. Um, and when you lose renown, sometimes your followers lose faith in you. Sometimes um, the um, that creates some negatives in in the places that you're known, and maybe it emboldens your enemies. All right. So there's a lot of things that can happen based off of your reputation, and those are I've got some simple mechanics set up to start exploring that, uh, but I hope to be building more and exploring that more as we. Uh, work together to expand this pack and make it better and cleaner and smarter. Um, so again, I'm using the core as the Age of Sigmar skirmish rule set, which at the core uses Warhammer Age of Sigmar uh, rule set. Uh, and so this is just a couple of layers on top of all of those. So you will need a copy of the skirmish uh, gameplay and a um, rule set. And you'll need a copy of um, the Age of Sigmar rule set. I ignore their campaign system. So don't worry about their campaign system. This uh, wholly and completely replaces that. So that's what kind of game I'm trying to set up. That's the kind of campaign that I'm setting up. And I got to tell you that um, I'm having a hard time getting my uh, gaming group to play anything else but this. Um, it's we, we played a little bit of uh, Silver Tower the other night when we couldn't get enough of us together. Um, and uh, when I suggest, hey, let's play a, an Age of Sigmar game or these other things, they're like, no, we want to play more Renown and Ruin. So they're determined and they're committed and they're scheduling this and, and making sure this happens. So I got to tell you, they're really enjoying that. And I think that you're going to enjoy it too. So let's go through how, how to do this, how you're going to get your own started. And you don't have to start it today, but... You want to be ready. You want to, there's some groundwork that you can lay so that when this releases, you're ready. So the first step is choosing a realm master. Maybe that's you. 
maybe you'd like to do this. Maybe you've GM'd before or uh, DM'd uh, Dungeons and Dragons, or maybe you just have this. Just you're creative and you're you're willing to sit down and, and explore some of these battle plans, tweak them, uh, make them uh, more suited to the narrative that you're you're setting, etc. Um, and maybe you just want to lead your group and guide them and help them tell the story of their. Um, their heroes. In my group, um, there's a couple of us that that can do this sort of thing. Um, I'm probably the most prolific painter, uh, and so I'm really using this as a chance to encourage them to paint the the, the models and the warbands that they have on the table. Um, and so, and they're 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 uh, sticking to that too, and and being really great. So, I will provide some tools for you in this initial release, but I hope to over time create more support for you. Um, as a realm master playing Renown and Ruin. Second step, choose a setting. Where is this going to be? Um, the things that I talk about here will likely be a Shadespire setting. You could be pull old Mordheim content if you can find that online or in wikis and have a Mordheim location in the mortal realms. That would be pretty fantastic. L would love to, to hear um, what that is. It could be an, an uh, AOS uh, 28 setting. So kind of a really grim, dark, really frightening kind of setting. And so um, if you wanted to do that, um, maybe we could talk about how we put some rule sets in here that just help the creep factor, help the, the grit um, and that sort of thing. But choose your setting and maybe talk to your group and say, hey, um, what do you want? where do you want this to be? So step three is gather your party. Start talking to your gaming group. Talk, start talking to your friends, maybe some people at the, that you've been meaning to get to know a little bit better and invite them to say, hey, we're just going to play a pretty casual campaign to start and see where it goes. Um, do keep in mind that we're that this is kind of the, the first version. There may be some things to, to play test and maybe some things change. So um, <laughs> my gaming group now has had to change a couple of things partway through. This last time I introduced the relic system to them where uh, their relics... Um, now each add a bonus and that they can be equipped on their their um, on followers and the hero. Um, so um, that's something they're like, hey, yeah, let's try it. So some of it can be a spirit of experimentation if you can get that. All right, now set a date for the first event. Just put it on the calendar. Get everyone saying, hey, here's your warband. Um, I won't show you uh, the kind of setup just yet. But a warband maybe be 25 or 35 renown. The, give them a hero who has that much renown and then therefore can, can uh, kind of influence that many followers um, to come with them to the city of Shadespire or to Mordheim. They, they came together from a location from their hometown or from their, wherever their, their, uh, their base of origin um, and they're coming to this place. I will have a battle plan ready for you. Um, in the pack, there'll be the first battle plan. It's very simple, but it will be a great setup for helping the players both feel like they're cooperating, working together, even though they're uh, disparate war bands. Um, uh, and you don't have to be all order or all destruction or all chaos. Um, you could do um, any... Grand Alliance, or you can mix some of the Grand Alliances if you wanted to and figure out a story to make that happen, but let the players play with what they want to play with. Um, next, uh, prepare the table. I uh, only play on 4x4 four four boards, but I put like 20 to 30 pieces of a train down because I want it to be a lot of choke points and alleyways and dents, uh, but you don't have to do that. Pick whatever terrain you have, and maybe your setting is based off of the terrain that you have because you want to use that over and over. Um, or maybe you take this opportunity to say, hey, where do we want this set? And then as a group, let's build some terrain for this. Um, so so it uh, would be really great. Uh, you know, don't have to have uh, a ton of space to do this. You can play in a lot of places. Um, but uh, use the terrain you have. Try and build more terrain. Get your terrain painted. Use this as an excuse. And then lastly, campaign night. Uh, the date is set. Everybody shows up. Bring your own beverages, um, have snacks, play the game, and as soon as people start rolling dice, they're going to have fun. Um, there'll be uh, some narrative to the very first uh, uh, battle plan to give people in the mood of the setting something to read aloud, so you could do that, or uh, one of your players could, um, or you could give it to them ahead of time. And a couple of things, uh, my my gaming group, we get together on a, 
uh, Facebook Messenger and talk about what's coming up and what to do and all that kind of stuff. You can keep track of them that way. Um, I host a Google Doc, um, uh, a Google folder uh, that I share with everybody on a drive, and everybody has access to certain things, um, including their character sheets, which are the Warband journals, which I'll talk about in another uh, video as well. So... Here's what you need to get started, and I really recommend that you get started as soon as possible just laying the groundwork for this, getting people bought in, and uh, if you um, you know, want to get started in a couple of weeks uh, when this launches, that would be fantastic. So here we go. In a couple of weeks, two weeks, this is going to be released, and it's going to be in your hands in all the pages. Between now and then, I'm going to be releasing a number of videos starting to walk through more of the concepts and the, the rule sets for this. So you'll get some of this before it actually drops, but it'll be a walkthrough. So I'll be able to talk through it and give you a sense of, of what I'm thinking about it. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to, to this conversation. Um, so um, what I want is for, like I said, is for you to download this, start a campaign and give me feedback. I want this to be a journey we take together. So stab the like button if you've enjoyed this update. Subscribe to keep up to date with this project. If you have any comments or feedback, leave those down below. But most importantly, share this video with um, your player, the players that you want to invite. Share this with maybe the person that you think would be a good Realm Master if it's not yourself. Um, and uh, let pe more people know about this upcoming release so that um, we can get as many people playing it and giving feedback and evolving it as possible. I really, I don't know what's to come. I don't know where, what shape this is going to take. Uh, I don't know if people are going to like it, but I hope that you guys give it a chance. I hope that you give me feedback and uh, that we can together make this better. Um, looking forward to this process and looking forward to talking to you more about this in the next video.